Here's a Mark III Honda CRV. It's 2.2 ICD TDI. I'm going to show you how to do the oil and filter change on one. Uh, obviously, you need the front of the car jacked up. One here, I've got it on ramps. You could do it with axle stands. You also need the engine warmed up. Ideally, as that helps the oil flow out as the oil gets thinner when it's warm. Obviously, take the key out. No chance of it starting there. So underneath, there's an inspection. Uh, cover in the under tray which is some three 10 mil bolts you undo all three 10 mils and you can remove this small inspection cover which then lets you get access to the sump plug that's the inspection cover and bolts the sump plug is a 17 millimeter so you need a ratchet and socket or a spanner back up top undo the oil filler remove the dipstick and then you can undo the oil filter you do need a special uh, socket for undoing these If you unscrew the filter before you start draining the oil, then it gives uh, a better chance of the oil draining out of the filter housing. Now, back underneath and remove the oil plug. Obviously, you need a drain tray underneath to catch the oil as it comes out. Once this is draining, I'm going to leave it um, a good 15 minutes, ideally as long as possible, so that you get all the old oil out. Whilst it's doing that, you can take the filter out. The old filter pulls out of the plastic housing, and there are three. Uh, o-rings on this housing use a small screwdriver to get the o-rings off there's a large one up nearly th near the threaded end and two smaller ones further down so there's the old filter and the o-rings out you just give the Housing a quick wipe down. And the new filter comes with the new air rings, obviously. You want to slide them air rings back into the uh, Place where you took the old ones out, making sure you don't twist them or cut them on anything. And then I use this little bit of old engine oil on my finger to lubricate the new seals so that when it goes in, they don't uh, kink or twist or anything like that. Once you've done that, you can push the new filter on. It can be quite a tight fit. Make sure it's pushed all the way on. And then you can go and screw it back into the filter housing. It will screw in by hand most of the way. And then it needs a ratchet to tighten it down fully.
Once that doesn't, you can go back down under the car, screw the sump plug back in. Once that's screwed back in, give the area a wipe down to remove any oil that's been spilt onto anything. And you can get your ratchet or spanner and fully tighten the sump plug. Once that's that, you can then fit the inspection cover back on with the ten, uh, the three ten mil bolts. And now it's time to put oil back in it. They hold 5.9 litres officially. It's 0W30 oil. Honda recommend Castrol. And once you've done that and run the engine for a few seconds, you can check the oil level. They might take a little bit more than 5.9 litres, but not much. Obviously, it wants to be somewhere between the full and empty mark. Whilst you're in here, you can also check the brake fluid, antifreeze, power steering, and screen wash levels, and just double check that the oil filter isn't leaking. And that's it.